Hmm. I got it! I got it! What did you get, Dr. Einstein? The theory of relativity! But Newton already has a theory on that. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Look. Dr. Einstein, you are a genius! Thank you. This will change the face of science completely! Indeed. But I have a question. Sure. How did you find it? I found it from the Quran. In chapter 25, verses 45 and 46, it says, Have you not considered your Lord, how he extended the shadow? And if he willed, he could have made it stationary. Then we, God, made the sun its guide. Then we, God, reduced it little by little. The scientific explanation for this verse is as follows. Have you not considered your Lord, how he extended the shadow? And if he wished, he could have made it stationary, as in following Newton's theory model of absolute rest frame. Then we, God, made the sun its guide, since the speed of light of the sun is the only absolute constant. Then we, God, reduced it, which refers to length contraction little by little, which refers to time dilation. In this one verse, the Quran addresses the various aspects of what we now call the theory of special relativity, length contraction, time dilation, and the speed of light as being the only constant. Additionally, the Quran warns us that God could transform our lives from Einstein's physics to Newtonian physics if he wished. And this is possible because God did not just discover the theories of physics, he actually created them.